that the tears grow alongside the wheat. From February of this year, February 22nd, 2012, the cords were cut angelically. What happened? The silver cord that attaches the soul of mankind to the heavenly realm of no time, or to God if you like, they either remained intact or for the wicked they were cut. At that time there was tremendous judgment happening and it continued to happen all year. Train crashes, plane crashes, all kinds of things. People dying very suddenly. Getting up in the morning, going about their business and then dying in train wrecks, crashes, whatever. What was reported at the time, a doctor in the Netherlands, next door neighbour to where Adam was at the time, went to him and said that the last few days she had people coming to her who were describing to her that they felt as if they had become unglued on the inside. Moving right along, what has been happening all of this year, the sorting and the sifting. You have the death of Leopold Rothschild at 84 on the 13th, not the 19th of April, which is the day that Yahweh said enough. When hearing of the abuse of the children at the public school in Nimbin by homosexual teachers who flaunt their abominable behaviour in the streets of Nimden, in front of the children and their parents. That was it. They're out of here. Rothschild dies that day. However, you can go to the Wikipedia record, which is all Zionist controlled and edited, and it will tell you he died on the 19th of April. Moving on down through the year. We are at this point now. We have passed the point where two years ago we uploaded the position of the sun, the moon, the stars for the 30th of November. Pit destruction. End. It's all over. What happens on the 30th of November? The vote for Palestine by the leaders of 138 nations out of the 193 member states of the United Nations. 41 abstain. 9 go along with the beast. We're coming up to the 4th of December, a significant date in Yahweh's history, the birth and death date of King William I, the Lion of Scotland, Yahweh's ancestor. Yahweh, the true heir to the throne of David that William, King William I, occupied. It was all over yesterday, the tide turning, reaching to the fork. When I read Adam's dream, as I'm reading about the building or the restoring, moving to the left, laying bricks, in this one level house, grey skies overhead, I immediately thought of Israel, the wall of Jerusalem, that will be restored eventually by Persia. And then what happened? No warning, Adam is grabbed by the ankle. I want you to think about how it is that a tear or a weed is plucked out of the garden. You get my drift. Grabbed by the ankle, no warning, no power against it. Upended, ankle first, and he's off the earth. What have we been saying to the world for a very long time? All evil is out of here. 
destruction approaches from behind, you will not hear. You will suddenly be out of here. In the dream, he's placed on the other side of the building as the angels were just showing him what it is the wicked, the unrighteous, the unbelievers. Remember his comment was, there is no God here. Today I was looking at a video that was put together, just nine minutes of truth, put together to paint the picture. The plan of those who have been in control. And the motto that's on the American dollar bill in Latin, what it means is new world, secular order. What does secular mean? There is no God. Protocol number four of the Protocols of Zion. The snake, Judaism, that has encircled the globe. They will convince the world that there is no God. How have they been able to do it? They have hijacked the sayings of Jesus. They have mixed a whole bunch of lies with truth. So that they have got people to the point where they deny the existence of Jesus the first time in the flesh. They have become so confused to arrive at the conclusion that there is no God. And so happily they let it all go. No longer in their mind do they need to give account for what it is they have failed to do in their lives or what chaos they have wrought with their lives. So happily they let it all go. When one lets go of the notion of God, they let go of the notion of being brought into account. A judgment day. So what Adam experienced is exactly what the evil, wicked, unrighteous, atheists remember there is no God. Homosexual, devious, all of the perverse who have defiled Yahweh's creation. Freemasonry, Free all of them. Nothing. Secret societies, Jesuits, the Vatican Order, all of the abominations that have made this earth desolate. That is what every flesh body will experience. It is the reaping. The body, flesh and soul will be cast off the earth. Fear him who can kill both body and soul in hell. Paradise has been turned into hell by the snake, Judaism, all beginning with Solomon, Freemasonry, Jesuit, secret society, skull and bones is just a new one, House of Rothschild, the devil itself, British royal family, leaders of the nation who have gone along with the slaughter of the innocent against the holy people of Palestine, the litmus test for all leaders of the nation. That is what awaits the unrepentant in the very few days ahead. Yahweh is coming up to 69 on the 11th of January 2013. That's the end of the prophecy in stone the Great Pyramid, the altar to himself, the capstone will be in place. All evil, wickedness, unrighteousness, unholiness will have been cast off the earth. The only name that saves today is the new name of God. Brian Leonard Go Lightly Marsh. So, I 
hope we've made ourselves really clear about where the world is at right now. Now, what do you think of Norman Finkelstein? Norman Finkelstein? Well, this is, um, yeah, sitting down listening to him. Compassionate man. Compassionate man. What a man. What are in charge of the Holy Man? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because right now there is no God in Israel. Whether you be Jew, Christian, or whatever. And uh, the Ark of the Covenant, Ron White found? Ron White, it says exactly where it is. It's been sealed. It doesn't apply anymore. It was the blood of Jesus that sealed it, sealed it white, sealed it shut. And the Ten Commandments, the law, everything, all of the bullshit that has helped to create hell on earth through absolute and utter confusion, sealed shut. In paradise, there's no book governing rules. God is in control. It's all light. And all people need to do is go, yes sir, what a great idea. Let's go and do it. He is the law. Anything else? I think you've got it covered. Good. Okay. Thought I'd get that off my chest. <laughs> <laughs> it's scary, isn't it?